The 18th question over here says that show that the height of the cylinder of greatest volume, which can be inscribed in a right circular cone of height h. Okay, this time you have a right circular cone, and inside that you have a cylinder. Okay, let's talk about this right circular cone first of all. This is what it will look like, and then you have a cylinder inside it. Okay, this is a small cylinder which lies inside this. This is what you have. Let's say for the cylinder you have some things which you know certain things. And similarly for the cone, you know certain things. Let's observe what do we have. Height of the cylinder of greatest volume, which can be inscribed in a volume of cylinder has to be maximized. Okay, and uh, height h. Right circular cone of height h. The height of the right circular cone is given to be small h. Okay. Height of the cylinder is an important thing. And we are supposed to show that it is equal to something. Of height h and semi vertical angle alpha, okay. Semi vertical angle is given to be alpha, is one third that of the cone, okay. You have to prove that this height is one third that of the cone. Let's say this is y, and to prove y equals h by 3, this is one of the criteria. And what else? And the greatest volume of the cylinder is this. We are supposed to find this greatest volume as well, okay. Now, how will, how will we deal with this question? So, for cylinder and its volume, we need the radius of the cylinder as well, right? And if this is small r let's call this small r or for that matter yes let's call this small r that is okay cylinder small r and the height is y okay and do we have some relation between this r and y in terms of alpha yes alpha and h are known so alpha and h are constants for us we can easily find a relation between them this triangle is a 90 degree triangle over here this here is 90 degree this is perpendicular it's this base for this alpha so tan alpha is equal to perpendicular upon base. Base is this length, which is total h minus this y. This is what you have. What about the volume of cylinder? Volume of cylinder is equal to pi r square h. H is actually y over here. Right? Let's observe that carefully. And once you're clear with this, you can actually replace this y by h minus y tan alpha. This becomes pi y times h minus y tan alpha and its square. Yes, R will be H minus Y tan alpha. This is what you get. So, pi tan square alpha will remain as it is. This becomes, this is actually equal to Y times H minus Y and its square. Okay. Once you have this, DV upon DY will be equal to what? The derivative of V with respect to Y, pi tan square alpha will remain as it is. And in the bracket, you can apply the product rule. This will become H minus Y whole square plus into the derivative of y which is 1 plus y is a constant times 2 times h minus y and a minus 1 which is the derivative of h minus y. Applying the chain rule and the product rule simultaneously you see h minus y coming out pi times tan square alpha times h minus y and what remains is h minus y minus 2y right please observe this this is h minus 3y so pi tan square alpha is all okay h minus y is okay this is h minus 3y. The critical points for y are h and h by 3. Okay. And can you analyze the values? Yes. At these critical points, h by 3, h. Okay. y at max can be h. So this is the max value and least value is 0 over here. Beyond h by 3 or for that matter beyond h, what do you have? This is negative. This is also negative. So negative, negative will actually be positive. We don't require this range. Before my h, we have let us say h by 2. So this will be positive. This will be negative. So overall it will be negative. Before h by 3, let's pick up 0. So this is positive. This is also positive. This will be overall positive. So function is increasing, then decreasing and then increasing. The max value occurs at this. We are interested in the max value. Yes. Therefore, V max at h equals, sorry, h at y equals h by 3 y equals h by 3. Now that's the first part and hence proved. The next part is to find the v max. The next part is to find that v max and you can we find that v max over here? Yes. v max will be equal to pi r square y. y is equal to h by 3 that's known. What is r square? r square is h minus y whole square tan square alpha so we'll deal with this one. Right. pi times y is h by 3 times h minus h by 3 which is 2 h by 3 whole square will be 4h square by 9 times tan square alpha. Okay, therefore, v max is nothing but 
from there you can get v max as well and what is that this is 4 by 27 first of all and you have h power 3 tan square alpha okay and is this what you wanted to prove yes there's a pi as well don't miss that pi 4 pi by 27 h cube tan square alpha that's the complete proof of this question over here that's a complete solution and the final proof of this question over here